नमस्कार दोस्तों वेलकम टू सरल सोशियोलॉजी लेट्स डिस्कस द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डी संस्कृतिजेशन डी संस्कृतिजेशन एज कंसेप्चुअलाइज बाय एम एन श्रीनिवास रिफर्स टू अ प्रोसेस ऑफ सोशल चेंज इन इंडियन सोसाइटी वेर द डोमिनेंट अपर कास्ट हिंदू प्रैक्टिस एंड कस्टम्स लूज देयर सिग्निफिकेंस और आर अबेंड बाय लोअर कास्ट और मार्जिनलाइज कम्युनिटीज Srinivas argued that this phenomenon was a response to the oppressive cultural dominance of upper caste particularly in rural areas In many rural areas of India upper caste practices and traditions have historically held significant power and authority often marginalizing and oppressing lower caste communities these practices influenced by brahmanical rituals and the use of sanskrit language have been considered as markers of social status and religious authority however amen srinivas observed that over time lower caste communities have challenged this dominance through the process of desanskritization they consciously reject or modify upper caste practices and instead focus on revitalizing their own local customs belief systems and cultural expressions this process allows them to assert their cultural identities and challenge the social hierarchy imposed by dominant upper caste groups for instance in the celebration of religious festivals lower caste communities have developed their own unique way of observing and uh, participating in these events they may emphasize local deities rituals and folklore incorporating their own cultural symbols and expressions into the festivities for instance in parts of west bengal where durga puja holds immense significance lower caste communities have organized their own versions of the festival known as barowari puja or community puja these community based celebrations involve active participation from people across different caste and backgrounds they create their own temporary durga puja pandals organize cultural events and immerse themselves in vibrant processions the rituals and customs associated with barowari puja often reflect the local customs and cultural practices of the community diverging from the traditional sanskritic norms in the realm of language and education desanskritization is evident in the promotion and recognition of regional languages and dialects over sanskrit sanskrit traditionally associated with the upper caste and often used as a medium of instruction in traditional educational systems has faced resistance from marginalized communities these communities have advocated for the use and preservation of their own languages which better represent their cultural heritage and aspirations this linguistic shift challenges the linguistic hierarchy that places sanskrit at the top and helps in preserving and revitalizing local languages and literature various regional languages in india have gained prominence in literature media and education providing a platform for the expression and recognition of diverse cultural identities for example works of literature written in regional languages have gained acclaim and have been translated into multiple languages allowing for a broader dissemination of regional literary traditions this recognition and promotion of regional languages contribute to the broader movement of desanskritization which seeks to challenge the dominance of sanskrit and promote linguistic diversity furthermore desanskritization encompasses the pursuit of social mobility by marginalized communities Historically upper caste practices and beliefs have imposed social restrictions and limited the social mobility of lower caste individuals and communities by rejecting or challenging these practices marginalized groups aim to redefine social boundaries and create opportunities for upward movement 
सोशल मूवमेंट्स एंड पॉलिटिकल मोबिलाइजेशन प्ले अ क्रूशियल रोल इन द पर्सूट ऑफ सोशल मोबिलिटी एंड द चैलेंज टू एग्जिस्टिंग पावर स्ट्रक्चर्स थ्रू कलेक्टिव एक्शन मार्जिनलाइज कम्युनिटीज एडवोकेट फॉर सोशल एंड इकोनॉमिक इक्वालिटी डिमांडिंग एक्सेस टू रिसोर्सेज एजुकेशन एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड पॉलिटिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन For example the Dalit movement in India has been instrumental in advocating for the rights and dignity of Dalits who were historically considered the lowest caste in the caste system This movement strives to challenge the social and economic inequalities faced by Dalits and create a more inclusive society by organizing protest raising awareness and demanding policy changes the dalit movement seeks to dismantle the oppressive structures that perpetuate caste based discrimination and promote social mobility for marginalized communities finally in conclusion we could say desanskritization as conceptualized by mn srinivas is a process of social change where lower caste or marginalized communities distance themselves from dominant upper caste hindu practices and customs through the revitalization of local customs belief systems and languages these communities assert their cultural identities and challenge social hierarchies desanskritization also advocates for social equality as well as challenges the entrenched power structures in the society